Step number four, dynamics and texture. So this is where this thing starts to really come alive. So we'll take the pad off for this one. Uh, I want to be able to speak to you, so we'll keep it on for a little bit. So dynamics, there is the idea of dynamics being a volume knob, loud and quiet, but that's not what dynamics actually means. Dynamics is the difference between loud and quiet. It's the difference between chaos and simplicity. So the difference between these things is what dynamic, dynamics actually refers to. So this, That's great, but that's not what we want. If I just have you as a volume knob up and down, that's a very limited version of dynamics. What we want is full control of every single note. So when I start working on my dynamics, I look for hidden rhythms inside of these patterns. Inside this boring thing that we've been working on, There's some very hip stuff living in there, but you have to learn how to pull it out. So the first thing I do is I just juice the right hand. All right hands are accented, all left hands are ghost noted. So listen to the pattern that emerges. I'll actually do it on the snare for you so you can hear it. So all of a sudden, there's this rhythm that was sitting in this boo da da goo da 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 shi bo do bi fla bi da da that comes up boo tang goo chan chan su gong boo tang ga tang boo chan ga tang tang fu bong boo shaga mm down down shi gan boo down down and the candles and the candles it it starts to just happen and it starts to become something cool. Let's do the same thing now, ghosting the right, popping the left. I'll start off monotone and then I'll bring that left up and bring the right down. Once again, a brand new rhythm emerges. So now, after I've done that a little bit, then I start to just see, can I improvise those accents? Can I play this pattern over and over and over again, but start to pull new rhythms out of it? So this thing that started off as very now it's starting to become it starts to become, have a, a life of its own and that's what I want you to do with your dynamics, not practice quiet and loud, practice owning every single note. Does that make sense? Inside of that I think there's another thing that we can kind of attach to dynamics which is texture. Can any of these notes have a fatter or different texture? So texture for me comes from things like drags and roughs, um, diddles, little buzzes, flams for sure, flams have a ton of texture. So if we think about like the texture side of this, where could I insert some texture? Okay, so we have our pattern. I'm gonna slow it down so I can think. Oh boy, did you guys hear that flam? And I already worked on my dynamics, so I have the accents available to me, I have the ghost notes available to me, but just that one flam, goo do flack. I'm sorry, what was your name, buddy? Goo do flack. Goo do flock, where are you from? Who gives a crap? It sounds amazing. Oh! We 
got two of them in there. I can't talk and do this at the same time. <laughs> What about some diddles? Oh, hell no. <laughs> we gotta put the snare on for that, that's spice. Those biscuits and buttercups. Goodness gracious. Thank you. My ego needed that. <laughs> Guys, I mean, we haven't even gotten close to where the end result is, but it's getting in our bones. That's what I'm talking about. The page to the gig concept is how could you actually use that thing? If I only learned it as written, I'd have to wait a lifetime to be like, Oh man, I hope a song comes up that's at that one tempo that needs that exact thing. It's like, okay. I mean, that's honestly how some of those famous songs were for me. I was like, you guys sure? You sure you don't want to do Fool in the Rain? They're like, no. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Maybe the next band will. Maybe the next band. I was like, man, I worked really hard on this when I was 11. I'd like to use it. Now I'm 36 and it still hasn't happened. And it's like, well, I should have learned halftime shuffles, not a song. And that's what this is about. I'm not saying don't learn songs. I learned so much, you know, from so many songs. But now when I find something in a song that I love, I immediately zoom out and think, what made that thing possible? I don't think I'm gonna learn that thing and I'm gonna steal that drum part and make it mine. I think like, what made that possible in the first place? What's the time signature? Is it linear or non-linear? Are there dynamics? Are there ghost notes? Are there textures involved? Are there flams? And I zoom out and I just take the whole thing as a big picture and it's like, I'm gonna practice that concept. That way, instead of playing somebody else's drum part, I have that whole vocabulary open to me and I can make my own version of it. And that's, I say that at the end of every video I make. All right guys, go practice this and make sure to make it your own. I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. Like, I never wanna hear you guys playing my stuff. I wanna hear your version of the thing that I inspired you to play. That's the dream for me. So with these textures, we start to bring in those diddles, the rolls, the flams, and all of a sudden it's like, oh man, this kind of stale, boring thing with now with accents, good time, good dynamics, diddles, buzzes, a couple of flamity flamity poos, it starts to become something new and it takes on a life of its own. And now you actually start to enjoy, like you don't know how you're gonna play it when it's your fill next time. You don't, you don't even know what's gonna come out. Something comes out and you're like, oh. I mean, I'm sure you've seen videos of me where I smile at things. That's because I didn't know it was about to happen. And I'm like, oh, come on, man. And like, I, I wanna love this instrument. I wanna be excited every time I play this instrument. I want the same for you guys. So if you practice that style, you'll be getting somewhere good. You guys ready for the next step?